Thousands of Iranian children are forced into marriage at a younger age, with father's consent and permission from Islamic court judges. The Statistics Center of Iran announced that 7,323 girls married under the age of 14 this year. It also declared one girl under the age of 10 and five boys under the age of 15 married in the first three months of this year. At least 109 pregnancies have been registered in marriages under 18 years of age have been recorded in Merkezi province located in the southwestern Iranian capital, Tehran, in the first half of this year. Since three years ago, 1,157 marriages of girls under 15 registered and from 2016 to 2019, 1,055 pregnancies under 18 were recorded, says the government officials in the province. A 31-year-old woman, mother of two, was brutally beheaded by her brothers in western Iran for alleged honor killing. 80% of wealth is in the hands of 5% of society at a time when Iranian students have no internet. A woman cooks livestock food to feed her children. Flood destroys houses and the little girl depicts portrait to make money to survive. A message from an Iranian inside the country. Mullahs tell us Trump unjustly sanctioned Iranian people. There's a shortage of insulin, cold and flu medicine. Just the sale of oil has been banned to prevent transferring money to the terrorists in Lebanon, Iraq, Yemen and Afghanistan. Yes, terrorism has been sanctioned, not the Iranian people. But the Islamic regime in Iran cannot ask people to give their money to Hassan Nasrallah. So it has multiplied prices to make money for its proxies. Photos from Iran indicate that students are forced to climb impassable mountains to access the internet to attend virtual classes. Poverty and lack of internet led to major challenges for students during the pandemic. Several students have committed suicide because they did not own a smartphone, preventing them from taking part in online classes. Bijan Rezaei who was arrested 35 days ago, is still being kept at Shiraz Central Detention in an unknown situation. Iranian monarchist Ali Musa Nejad Farkush was arrested by agents in a raid at his house and taken into Rajai Shah prison to serve his five-year prison term. The Islamic Revolutionary Court in Tehran sentenced him to prison on vague charges of assembly and collision against national security insulting the officials and propaganda against the regime in Iran. Political prisoners Reza Mehrgan and Mohammad Abul Hassani, who are currently at Tehran notorious Evan prison, were reportedly explained of new charges which defined as propaganda against the regime. Agents arrested Iranian monarchist Amir Purang Sarmadi in a raid at his workplace and took him into Babul prison in northern Iran to serve his prison term. He, father of one, along with 11 other citizens were sentenced to 123 years in prison. Kurdish citizen Rahman Rasuli was arrested by intelligence agents for alleged partnership with opposition groups. The Islamic forces took him to an unknown location. Iranian veteran Ruhollah Zibai was arrested in Karaj today and taken to jail. He was sentenced to serve four months in prison for his fate in Baha'i. Islamic judges in Iran sentenced Hamed Gare Oghlani to death and 13 years in prison on ambiguous charges of relationship with the MEK, insulting the supreme leader, propaganda against the regime, and tearing up the image of IRGC terrorist Qasem Soleimani. A group of citizens, ranchers, teachers, retirees, students, and drivers held protests in Iran in the past week over financial difficulties, unpaid wages, and lost money. Former Tehran University head Dr. Mohammad Maliki died. 
He was one of those people who wrote an open letter in 2019 calling on Khamenei to resign from office. He had published and distributed messages of Khomeini and revolutionaries in universities before the Islamic Revolution in Iran. Qasem Soleimani Foundation, run by his daughter Zainab, to receive about $340,000 in the coming Iranian annual budget. The regime spends national wealth for its malicious activities while Iranians face financial difficulties and Iran is in a bad economic situation. Senior IRGC commander Muslim Shahdan was killed overnight Sunday. No other details were provided yet. Israel warned on Thursday that Israeli targets abroad could come under attack by Iran's regime which has been issuing new threats against Israel since the killing of a prominent regime's nuclear weapons developer. The Iranian Americans for Liberty has spoken out regarding the death of IRGC Brigadier General Mohsen Fakhrizadeh, who was recently killed in a targeted killing near Tehran. In a statement, Iranian Americans for Liberty has brought up contemplative points which have never been mentioned by mainstream outlets. Fakhrizadeh is being tutored as a scientist. This is false. The Iranian Americans for Liberty says that calling Mohsen Fakhrizadeh a scientist is misleading. According to multiple intelligence reports, he headed the Islamic Republic's malicious nuclear program's weaponization efforts. Given the potential for death and destruction, he could be considered a scientist the same way Nazi chief bomb makers were. If the Iran's nuclear program is peaceful, why was a BG in charge? Fakhrizadeh, like many other high-ranking officials of the Islamic Republic, was a member of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. The IRGC is a quasi-military death cult that controls much of power and immeasurable misery in the Middle East. The most notable of which was the downing of a commercial airliner. And Republic mouthpieces is how a member of IRGC was in charge of Islamic Republic's peaceful nuclear program? This question and many others will remain unasked and unanswered so long as the current narrative pushed by the regime goes unchallenged. Fakhrizadeh was not a national hero. The international media reported that Fakhri Zadeh was not a national hero and his death is being mourned. This is factually incorrect and reveals the content to which the media has unwittingly contributed to the regime's disinformation campaign by refusing to do a cursory search of Persian-speaking social media. Countless memes of his embarrassing death are circulating among Iranians who regard Fakhrizadeh as any other regime element, unimaginably corrupt, indescribably indifferent to the plight of ordinary Iranian, an ultimate obstacle to their prosperity. A Belgian court will deliver its verdict on January 22nd in the trial of an Iranian diplomat, Asadullah Asadi, accused of plotting to bomb an exiled opposition group's rally. His lawyer told AFP, Asadullah Asadi, the 48-year-old diplomat formerly based in Vienna, faces 20 years in prison if convicted of plotting to target the rally in Philippines outside Paris on June 30, 2018. Saudi Arabia agreed on Monday to let Israeli airliners cross its airspace en route to the United Arab Emirates after talks between Saudi officials and White House senior advisor Jared Kushner, a senior Trump administration official said 